this video we are going to discuss one of the important type of indeterminate form when the limit value of equation is given and we have to find the unknown variables in the equation so let's start in this question we have to find the value of a and b so that this limit may be equal to 1 therefore let's start solution we take the limit x 1 plus a cos x minus b sin x upon x cube. Now, if we put x equals to 0, it will become 0 and this will 0. Therefore, it is a 0 by 0 form. Therefore, applying the L hospital rule, we get limit x tends to 0 it will become 1 plus a cos x minus b cos x and there is also plus x minus a sin x bracket upon 3x square if we put x equals to 0 here we will get it this will become 1 this will become uh, minus b and this will be a and this will be 0 and this is 0 therefore uh, this limit does not tends to a finite number as there is 0 in the denominator as it will become equal to infinity but it is equal to 1 therefore we write the denominator becomes 0 on putting x equals to 0 therefore the limit does not tends to a tends to a finite value if oh sorry we should write the limit tends to a finite value only if we have to write the possibility not the impossibility be positive only if the numerator will be zero so that we can apply the hospital rule therefore Will be 0 for x equals to 0 therefore if we put x equals to 0 here on the numerator we get 1 plus a cos 0 minus b cos 0 plus 0 minus a sin 0 equals to 0 on solving that we get 1 plus a minus b equals to 0 mark this as 1 this is our equation 1 since this is 0 it will becomes the 0 by 0 form mark it as 2 therefore equation 2 is of 0 by 0 form therefore applying the L hospital rule in the equation second we get limit x tends to 0 differentiating again we get minus a sin x minus b sin x minus a sin x plus x minus a cos x bracket upon 6x now if we put x equals to 0 again it will become 0 0 0 and this will also be 0 and this is 0 therefore it will be 0 by 0 form applying the L hospital rule again we get minus a cos x minus b cos x 
माइनस ए कॉस एक्स प्लस माइनस ए कॉस एक्स प्लस एक्स ए साइन एक्स अपॉन सिक्स पुटिंग एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वी गेट पुटिंग द लिमिट वी गेट दिस विल बिकम माइनस ए दिस विल बिकम माइनस बी दिस विल बिकम माइनस ए दिस विल बिकम माइनस ए एंड दिस विल बिकम जीरो अपॉन सिक्स सेंस इट इज गिवन द लिमिट इज इक्वल टू वन देर फॉर पुटिंग दिस इक्वल टू वन इन द साइड वी मैंशन डेट इट इज गिवन ब्रिंगिंग सिक्स टू दिस साइड वी गेट एंड सॉल्विंग दिस माइनस थ्री ए माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स दिस इज आवर सेकेंड इक्वेशन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट we find the value of p by bringing the p to the side we get this and putting this in the second putting value of p mark it as third from third in second we get minus 3a And minus one minus a equals to six. Therefore, minus four a equals to seven. And a equals to minus seven by four. Therefore, putting the value of a in the third, we get the b. B will be one minus seven by four equals to minus three by four. implies minus three by four equals to b. Therefore, b is equal to minus three by four and a is equal to minus seven by four. This is our value of the unknown variables. Let's quickly summarize the question. This is the type when the limit value is given and we have to find the unknown variables in the limit equation. We first Analyze the equation if it is of zero by zero form or infinity by infinity form or any other form we made into the form so that the Allosprel rule is applicable. We simply first solve it. If it is not becoming the Allosprel rule, then we put the numerator or the denominator which are required equals to zero so that it becomes the Allosprel rule. Here the numerator is not becoming zero, but the denominator is zero, so that it is not tending to finite limit. So we put the numerator equals to zero. From there we get the first equation, and from the equation second we get. Uh, from the equation second, it will become zero by zero form. On differentiating again, we get uh, minus e sine x. Minus b cos x. It will become plus b sine x. Oh, sorry. There will be a plus sign. Uh, minus a sine x minus x sine. Now, it will again becoming a zero by zero form. Therefore, again differentiating again. On differentiation, we get this. Here the plus sign. Here will be minus two a. Therefore, answer will be minus seven by two. Not seven by two. Here it will become the five. Therefore, answer will be minus five by two. And uh, putting the value of a in this, we get minus five by two here. And here we get minus three by. Therefore, our b value is minus three by two, and his value is minus five by two. This is the benefit of rechecking.
Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.